Hello, my name is Henry and I'm from CCTV42. In this video we're going to look at searching for previously recorded footage on your DVR recorder. Now there's essentially two ways that you can search for footage. You can search by time or you can search by event. To search by event you'd have to previously set up motion triggered recording or motion triggered bookmarks on your DVR recorder and we'll show that in a different video. So the first thing you need to do is get the main menu up, so right click on the screen and left click on the main menu icon here and that takes you to the main menu and you can see here we have an icon which says search so if we left click on that and this is the main search interface we have two options we have time search and we have event search so let's concentrate on time search for the moment if we look across on the right hand side we'll see the various dates and we'll see some of them the 13th and the 20th up to the 20th have blue squares around them so if we click on the 13th and click search you can see there is just a little bit of footage this blue area here available at the end of the day on the 13th that's just about to get uh, recorded over if we click on the 20th and click search you can see that we have footage available for most of the day this hasn't been recorded yet so let's look for some footage let's take in the middle there on the 15th let's click search and you can see we've got a full day's footage available for Wednesday the 15th. Now we need to enter a time, so we'll click a time in here, we'll go for 9 o'clock in the morning. And then click this icon here, the play button. And this will show you footage that was recorded from 9 o'clock on Wednesday. Now if you want to, if you double click on any of the cameras, you'll see it goes full screen. And if you double click again, you'll go to the multiple screen playback again. You'll also notice we have a slider across the bottom of the screen here. You can just about see that uh, rolling on. If you left click onto that and drag that across, and you can pick a time from the slider. So we'll uh, put that about there, let's say. Release it. And that's now showing footage from that time and again if you double click you'll see that goes full screen double click again and that goes back to the main screen double click on that one thing you can do we can go backwards and then we can play and you'll be able to pause and so on it's actually our AMPR camera which is why it's uh, black and white so you can see that's caught the number plate up there and we can inch forward a frame if we wanted to. It's just under 60 metres away, that particular car. So if we click on here, a little cross, that'll take you back to your live view and back to the search interface. We're now going to search by event. So we select event search. We have to decide which camera we want to see. So we'll look just for camera 8. And we'll take the 14th, click search. Now this shows me all the events uh, that have been noted down for camera 8. And you can see there's various pages of events there. So we'll pick this one here. If we double click on any of these, let's take this one at 1800, so 6 o'clock. And that's going to play back. That's the uh, delivery vehicle going. And again, you can pause that, fast forward, rewind, and so on. And if we uh, go down and exit the screen there, that'll take you back to the list of events. And if we take the one prior to that, which will be that one there, that's the same vehicle coming in. So that's picking up events. We've got a little motion trigger patch or virtual trigger patch which is somewhere around here on the screen, so the DVR detects when there's motion and stores that as an event. So that's the two ways in which you can search footage, by time or by event. I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry, I'm from CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.